Welcome guys and gals to the first episode of a new series called Free to Play. In this series we're going to be going over some free to play games found all over the internet and Steam. I think we've all been there where you're looking for a game to play but you really don't want to pay anything for it. So you look up some free to play games but you don't even know if it's going to be worth the time to downloading it. So why waste your time playing free to play games to find a good one? Let us do it for you. Now that the formalities are out of the way, let's go ahead and play some Guns and Robots. Guns and Robots is a game that I found on Steam and to be honest I downloaded it as a joke. I mean, come on, Guns and Robots? The only thing that I could think of that had a more straightforward name is if there was a paper plate brand paper plate. <laughs> if I was going to describe this game by comparing it to other games, I would I would say it's like if Banjo-Kazooie from Nuts and Bolts made a Team Fortress 2 game, but with robots. Surprisingly, this game is actually a lot better than, than I expected. There's a few map types, there's actually a couple game types like Team Deathmatch and Bomb Squad, you can also change and upgrade the parts of your robots uh, to actually give you a couple of different playstyles. So you can either be a tank where you're slow moving, have a lot of life, but you're heavy hitting. Or you can be kind of like a scout, which is a fast moving, uh, low life robot. You have a high fire rate, but it doesn't do a lot of damage. But that's when I noticed that you can actually sink real money into this game. And that worried me, like a lot. But the good news is that everything that you can buy with real money can be obtained by just playing the game. You don't even have to spend a dime. When you spend real money, you actually get a currency that's called Spark. That can be used to buy cosmetic items, unlock upgrades, or be converted into coins. Coins is what's used to buy parts and weapons, uh, but you can actually just get those by playing the game, by winning missions. Um, actually, you could lose a mission and still get coins back, so that's always good news. So you could totally suck at this game and still upgrade your robot to be badass. Um, but on top of that, you can actually obtain the currency called Spark, just by completing daily quests, as well as uh, leveling up. There are some RPG elements to it. I think the only bad thing that I'd like to actually mention that, about this game was that it can be really slow paced at times. So if you have two tanks that are left fighting each other, the people that have the most health and hit the do the lowest amount of damage, or if you have a scout that keeps running around, um, prolonging the game, so that's kind of a small gripe at best. Uh, but for as good as this game was, I would have to rate it a 5. No, not a 5 out of 10, a 5 as in 5 hour games. I don't think I could see myself playing for this game for more than 5 hours, but it's totally worth the look. Well guys, that about wraps it up for this episode of Free Play. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like. And if you'd like to see more, don't forget to subscribe. My name is Richard, and you've been fully loaded. See you next time.